Hey everybody, Matt here with Dutch Oven Today, and I've come up with an interesting scenario for you. I'm going to, I'm thinking, who knows, if you guys like this, give me a thumbs up, let me know how you like it down in the comments, because I'm thinking of a scenario series, or at least a, a playlist, of doing things with out or limited, or with limited power. Today, I've got a big old uh, rainstorm that hit just as I was getting my charcoal you hear that just as I was getting my charcoal going and I relocated to my front porch because that is covered and we're gonna give this a shot we're gonna to who knows maybe in real life powers out can't cook or dinner was cooking and you got to finish how can you do it well you can do it in a Dutch oven so I've got my charcoal going. We're going to go ahead and make a delicious uh, light version of Malibu chicken, which is going to be a brown chicken. Normally it's breaded, but I wanted to be a little more Dutch oven friendly. Um, it's kind of hard to, to fry it in the Dutch oven and then clean it out, bake it. So we're going to just brown the chicken, cover it in ham and Swiss cheese. And we'll serve it up with a uh, delicious honey mustard sauce. It's awesome. But I'm going to be showing you things outside. and Well, I'm always showing you things outside. But for the most part, we're going to go with the scenario that powers out during a rainstorm. And we're trying to figure out how to finish cooking dinner. Stay tuned. Ain't it just... I get my charcoal going. It's almost done. And uh, for the most part, we still got some thunder and lightning around, but for the most part, the rain stopped. So that figures. Anyway, we're still going to go uh, powerless except for, uh, you know, where I just need the light. So I've got here a mm, pound and a half to two pounds of chicken breast cutlets. You can use whatever cut of chicken you'd like. It's just what I've got. I've thawed them because they were frozen. You know, big old bulk bag. And it's just bottom of the bag. So I just added marinade of lemon lime soda and soy sauce right to it. It's been marinating about an hour. That's all we'll really need. And now I'll set up the Dutch oven for cooking. So we can brown these babies up. Okay. So again, we got foiled down, lid on top. Briquettes. We're going to put our natural Dutch oven right on down. We're going to let that warm up. I've got about a teaspoon of oil in there. I love this setup for any time I've got to saute or brown meat and then bake it in the Dutch oven. Also, like I showed in a quick tip, but if you missed it, by having the foil down, when we are done, we just dump all of our coals onto that foil. We can fold the foil up and easy peasy cleanup, especially if you're doing it location like this, like your front porch, national park, a campground where you don't want to leave, you know, any trash behind. It's a great, um, it's a great cleanup. Uh, situation. So I've got my chicken here out of the marinade. I've also seasoned it up with my favorite chicken seasoning. And we'll just go ahead, put it in our pan. We're just, we don't need to cook this all the way through. We just need to brown the outside so we can affix our toppings to it. So, we're going to brown it for a couple minutes on each side and be back. So, now that the chicken is getting browned, we're going to go ahead and add our cheese. That big one is probably going to take two slices. I've also, over here, I've got two small pieces. I just pushed those together. Actually, I'll probably you can just tear piece and half so that gets half the slice the big one gets the other half don't 
don't be afraid if you want to be generous. See, like those two, you get a share. Hmm. But it's okay, because it's going to get all melty and gooey and delicious anyways. And stuff's going to mix together in the pan. No worries. Again, two left. You can each probably take just half a slice. A little ham. If you notice, the cheese is already kind of melting on things here. And like I mentioned, this is kind of a knockoff uh, a Lazy Man's Chicken Cordon Blue. Still delicious though. Also, in Arizona, when I was living there, I once saw a place serve what they called Sedona chicken, which was this, but between the cheese and the chicken, they'd thrown a slice of avocado in. So if you're a lover of avocado, you can also throw avocado in. So now I'm going to move some coals underneath more coals on top and we're going to go ahead and let this bake for about 10 minutes to get the cheese nice and melty and wonderful. So to go along with our baked light Malibu chicken we're making a honey mustard sauce which is three tablespoons mayo, two tablespoons Dijon mustard, a teaspoon of yellow mustard, and I, it's closer to two teaspoons of honey. Originally calls for one, but I liked it a little sweeter. So mix this up. And I got family walking around. So mix that up. And this makes a wonderful dipping sauce for chicken. Here's the moment of truth. Oh, look at that. It looks delicious. There's a lot more moisture came out of everything than I thought would, but I'm still gonna trust it. It still looks delicious. We're gonna go ahead and uh, remove these from the pot and go dish them up. If you are nervous about checking your meat times, Go ahead and invest in a instant read meat thermometer and make sure that it's at least 165 degrees internally. All right, so we're done. I'm gonna go ahead and get my lid and just dump the coals right there onto the duct onto the foil. And now we're just going to let them cool. Well, when it's cool, we'll fold up that foil and just ditch them. So there we go. Serve it up with vegetable. Uh, I'm using rice today, but this would go great with baked potato, mashed potatoes, au gratin. It goes good with potatoes. And like I've mentioned, this, the chicken, you can substitute whatever meat, whatever cheese you want. Bacon and cheddar, you know, bacon and cheddar is just freaking awesome, so can't go wrong with that. Prosciutto and mozzarella. Come up with your own variations and let me know down in the comments what you came up with. And we'll get a little of our honey mustard sauce. We'll just go ahead and drizzle that right on. I might want a little more. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Mikey likes it.